Sullivan, if you do you have like a specific musical experience that like stands out in your mind as being um, man, just something that like changed your life or influenced you to to do what you do? Um, I kind of tell this story pretty often. It was a gig that I had with Roy Hargrove. It was like in my last year or two in his band. We were in Italy somewhere. It was one of them real weird random towns in Italy. And we was having issues getting the piano tuned. And, you know, it was, it was one of those weird situations where it was rough. And anyway, we're playing. We're, we're in the middle of Strasbourg, St. Denis. We're grooving. The piano solo happened. I wiped my sweat off. It's over. Yay. <laughs> and I look up and Roy's arm is like bloodshot red. Wow. And I'm like, what's going on? And he's playing. But I'm like, well, he it, that's blood. I mean, it's, it's like dripping from his shirt. That's how much blood it was. Come to find out, Roy used to do dialysis like every other day. And he didn't get his fistula where they plug him in. They didn't get it changed when he was supposed to. So the fistula exploded while we were playing at Strasbourg. Wow. And just just blood, just guys, and he's just playing through it, man. He's playing, and, and, and the paramedics are there, and he's like, I'm not getting off stage until the set is over. Wow. wow. And that hmm. really messed me up, man. I was like, here he is. This man could literally lose, this man could literally die or pass out you know, from blood loss and he's still playing through it. Mm. It's, 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 it was, it was really, really inspiring. It was just like, how much do you believe in this music thing? <laughs> you know what I mean? How much do you believe in it? Are you willing to sacrifice your health and your, you know, and your men mental stability for this stuff? Or are you just, you just planned it to get some girls and look cute, right. Right. you know, or to prove to somebody that you can play better than them. Right. That's you know, it just kind of that. put a whole lot of things in the perspective for me. And I still think about that. Like, I think about that pretty often. It's interesting to hear you say that because I, I, one of my, my favorite uh, Roy Hargrove interviews, he talks about um, that if you're good to the music, the music will be good to you. And, and I feel like that was, it's, it's interesting to hear him practice that philosophy in all aspects of his life in music. Yeah, man. It saved, music kept him here. I really believe music kept him here longer than it should have, longer than he probably should have. You know, just the fact that he could wake up and pick up his horn and play after a certain degree, even with his chops and his teeth and all the stuff that was going on, his health, he was still out, man. He would still come out to Smalls. I mean, Darren, you know. Yeah, I know. Come out to Smalls <laughs> after being, being plugged into a uh, plugged in dialysis for four hours and go straight to Smalls and hit. Wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He was he was our, all of our teacher in some some way, shape, or form. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 